2014's festive season saw Mahindra quietly introduce this, the refresh silo, into the market. It promises a better ride quality and brings with it a few cosmetic changes. Let's find out what these are. Launched in 2009 as a potential rival to Toyota's Innova, the Zylo was the first effort from a company that traditionally made tough UVs and SUVs. After a facelift in 2012, this refresh is the Zylo's latest avatar. However, there isn't much to differentiate it from the outside, except for a new chrome bar on top of the grille, another strip of chrome on the tailgate and new decals running down the side. Moving to the inside, the Zylo's roomy cabin gets a new beige and black palette, a new instrument cluster and that's about it. Nothing else has changed in this seven-seater. Now, cosmetic changes aside, what's new on this MUV is really the tweaked suspension. Yes, the suspension has been heavily reworked with recalibrated dampers, stiffer suspension brushes, all new control arms and a beefy anti-roll bar being added up front. All this is aimed to make this new Zylo more responsive to direction changes. At the rear, stiffer coil springs promise to minimize the pitching and bobbing the previous Zylo was known for. Polyurethane bump stops reduce the impact or the harsh thud when the suspension bottoms out on rough roads. Now that means the vehicle doesn't bob around that much and feels firmly planted on the ground. It offers better stability and overall a better ride quality. These changes instill confidence on highways and the new Zylo doesn't feel as nervous as before, continuing to draw power from the 2.2-litre MHOC motor from its 2012 version. But the tall Zylo still has a high centre of gravity and is still nowhere as reassuring to drive as the Toyota Innova. Now this refreshed Zylo has been on sale since last September. And though the car definitely is a step in the right direction, it hasn't quite set the market ablaze like Mahindra would have hoped it to. But having said that, the car is definitely a solid option if you're in the market for an urban MUV.